Hello everybody. This is Greg from KC8YTO, Kilo Charlie 8 Yankee Tango Ocean, and I've got a cool little database I'm going to bring up here for you that I created. It's free to distribute and do what you like and customizable in every way whatsoever. So I'm going to show you how this thing works. It's just a regular Microsoft Access database which is a part of the Microsoft Office and let's just run through it. This is the local information you can select from the, the date that you made the contact. It has to be in this format if you enter it in there by yourself. Now we're going to enter in say the time I made the contact say 10.30 in the morning. Now you can change this too. It doesn't have to be Eastern Standard Time. In fact, you can change anything on this whole form. And it's a database that's completely searchable. It's 100% free and distributable and customizable. Give it away to all your friends. You don't have to buy anything. Uh, but these two have to be in this format. Let's say your weather at home is a little bit cloudy, but it's calm and it's 65 degrees. Now, these are customized for me, so I'm going to select my equipment, and I'll show you how to customize this later, but we're just going through this. I'm going to operate at 100 watts, and when you make a contact and he gives you a report on your signal, your R&S, then you can put it in here. And that's his report to you. Now let's say you make a contact. You want to log it. Maybe the operator's name is Joe. Now this is just a repeater, so I'm not really going to get anybody. Joe's 62 years old. No, no, no. His name's not Joe. His name's Elmer. Okay, and let's say we did make this contact, and he is in West Virginia, in Huntington, and I don't know, 25705, something like that. Now, when it come when the country comes up by default, it's going to be USA. This is not a drop-down box, but you can put anything you want to in there, and it'll remember it for this record. The bandwidth, let's say, oh, he's on uh, two meters, and the frequency is 146.760. Of course, there is a 600 neg negative 600 kilohertz offset, and you could notate that down here. 600 you know, kilohertz offset, uh, and this is a you know repeater or you know what any notes. Now you can only put a maximum number of 255 characters in each of these fields here. So remember that if you go typing crazy. What mode we were on AM, the location is say is 33, 23 degrees north and west, let's say it's about 82.39, something like that, I don't know. Uh, the, you ask them, you ask Elmer, hey Elmer, what's your weather like? He said, well it's clear and it's a little bit breezy and a temperature here in West Virginia or Arizona, wherever you want to cut, say he's from is uh, 70 degrees and how much you run it Elmer how much power you running I'm only one in 50 watts because I know what I'm doing and uh, boy you're coming in strong and your signal is your readability is strong and your signal is very strong that's 5 over 9 or 5 9 maybe and what kind of transmitter you got? Well, I got a rice box here. I don't know. My dad gave it to me. What kind of antenna? I don't know. I got some Yagi Beam antenna, and they'll give you some. It's a XYZ model 6565. Where are you at? Well, I'm kind of on a hilltop, and my elevation is about, or you might be in the city or wherever. So you, not really a high mountaintop but the elevation here is about 685 feet above sea level so you can see it's real easy to work now to create a new record once you hit this and go down here and click this right here this new blank record this record is automatically saved you can check the database by clicking here and you can see that all your information has been entered in a database, a searchable database form, and I'll show you how to do that later. Now, let's say you want to edit this thing. I gotta hurry up because I only got I only got a free version of Bandicam. Uh, go up here to Views, 
and click layout view and then select what you want to edit right click on say your local transmitter and you want to list your equipment there well you can list it here one line at a time for each one and you can select the default value for what it'll come up with when you when the form first comes up blank you can also go up here double click and put your own call sign in there if you like you see anybody oh you can delete or move these pictures now if you want to change the picture because you might not want my picture up there right click on it select properties go over here click the all tab and at the very top you'll see where it says picture and click here and then you can navigate on your hard drive for a picture to put in there I'm gonna cancel it because I want my picture there and everything here is editable and feel free to distribute it and give it to your friends if you you don't need to uh, you know buy anything now I'll make another video on how to search your database once I populate this database because like I said it only has one record but what whatever you do when you make changes in this layout mode layout view make sure you go up here and select save otherwise your changes might not be saved you can also hit the control s button and then you go back to form view or go up here from layout and select form view and then go back to entering records or searching your record you can search your records here let's enter and we'll make one on Halloween we'll go into the future and then we'll add another record so you can see you can scroll back and forth between your records here and either view them in the order they were entered or you can search and like I said I will go ahead and make a different video on how to search 73 KC8 YDO Kilo Charlie 8 Yankee Tango Ocean have a great day.